Hey everyone, what we have here is a three team positional rondo where you have six players. So if we see here in blue, where we have four kind of like in, a, in between each line and two in the middle, which are positional against four yellow. There's two yellow over here on this side. And then the red are set up the same way. One on top, one on the bottom, two out wide, and two positionally playing in the middle. What happens is after three passes, say the blue team could switch into the red team as two yellow will travel to make this always a 6v4. Now here's the catch. If the yellow win the ball, it is four versus two, one touch only for the team of four. So the team of four yellow, if they steal the ball, they get 4v2 against the two middle players in the square they're in. So let's take a look at how this plays out. So we just switched the ball. Gray lost the ball, so it's one touch here with the yellow, four yellow versus the two gray in the middle. Now gray are defending. As the ball is switched, two more gray will come in. This is four versus two. As we switch that ball after three passes, if gray win it, it's one touch there. Now you can adjust the touches if you want to give the team who wins the ball um, if those four win the ball, you could give them unlimited touch, uh, 4v2. Again, the one touch is a little difficult, so feel free to, to adjust the rules so you get a nice flow to this game. But this is a nice positional game. You could see this as game model with the center back, two, two wing backs, uh, center mid, and maybe a striker up top. Um, and again, really really uh, focus on the aspect of the two in possession in, in the middle, uh, the two center mids. Make sure that they split the grid in half, they play positional. They're always looking to find those spaces behind and in between the defenders with the right body orientation. So right there is three team, six versus four positional rondo. Hope you enjoyed it.